Cecilia Makiwane Hospital in the Eastern Cape has been hit by vandalism. Stolen cables have caused severe disruptions at the hospital, with only critical areas being operational at present. The hospital has had to move some of its patients to neighboring facilities. For more on this, we are joined by reporter Ronald Masinda. Ronald, I see you are at a scrapyard. Community members are going door to door to try and find any stolen equipment, I assume. Uh, what are they finding? What are they doing? Doing right now? Well, Masako, the raid continues here at this particular scrapyard. The community forum has made its way going door to door or as well checking at different uh, rooms near the scrapyard. Uh, there have been allegations that this scrapyard has been selling illegal goods. So we saw earlier on a confrontation between the owner of the scrapyard and the community forum, people who are wearing the camouflage jackets. But what we have seen here are a number of different items have been confiscated. We, are, we have seen a lamppost also being confiscated as well as municipal lights at this particular scrapyard and a lot of copper cables as well taken away from here. And many people are saying that they've been up in arms with regards to some of the activities that have been taking place at these scrapyards in the community. It seems like a lot of the criminals have been giving business to unscrupulous scrapyard owners here in Mdansane. Earlier on, of course, we did speak to the ward councillor whose sister actually runs this particular scrapyard and she was of the view that her sister is not one that supports criminality. But what we are seeing here is a lot of people uh, still waiting. There's about at least uh, close to 200 people outside. Uh, they are saying that they will be mobilizing each other, going door to door to different scrapyards to see as to whether or not uh, there are items that even belong to them. Earlier on, we also saw a, an alleged uh, criminal also taken here. They asked the community, they asked this particular person whether or not he was involved in any criminal activity. We're not going to show his face, but uh, he is uh, very close to where I am standing. Uh, well, uh, he has been alleged to be one of the perpetrators that have been stealing here in uh, Unit 8 in Tanzania. He says he knows nothing about this and that he, these are false allegations. But as we can see in the background, there are still a lot of raids taking place, a lot of copper cables, as we can see, thrown around. And I think this is going to continue, uh, Masejo, during the course of the afternoon because we are expected to go to another scrapyard, which is not too far from here. We are also hoping to speak to the owner of this particular scrapyard. We don't see her at the moment, uh, but I can ask maybe one of the uh, residents. Mama Nimbonile, you own a yellow? Says Lali. 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 Says Okay. 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 Okay.
All right, Masako residents, they are saying that uh, the owner of this property has put someone in charge and this is a person that they have been confronting as residents. Uh, they also say that they've lost faith and trust in the police and now they've uh, laid their own trust on the community forum. People who were successful in uh, capturing two alleged criminals who were allegedly involved in uh, the theft that took place and the vandalism that took place at Cecilia Makiwane Hospital. All right, Ronald Masinda, live for us from Mdantane with that uh, report. Let's leave it there for now. Of course, Ronald will have updates for you throughout the course of the day. Let's take you to a short ad break when we return.